I want to find out what's the best dessert on the planet. And to do so, I reached out to other YouTubers to find out what their favorite is. And we ended up with 16 amazing YouTubers from all over the country to tell me what their favorite dessert is. So we had to come up with a way to figure out which one is the best. And the best way to do that is head-to-head -head matches in a bracket format. So we're going to place them into the bracket based on how many subscribers they have, which will create the matchups. Matchup number one, Just Jewel C versus Made by Aubrey. Hi, my name is Jules Coley and my YouTube channel is Just Jules. I'm from Miami, Florida, and my favorite dessert is cookies and cream from Haagen Dazs. <laughs> Hi, I'm Made by Aubrey. My favorite dessert is chocolate satin pie. And just to be clear, I'm going to be giving both desserts each time, but I don't know whose is whose. So this is going to be a completely unbiased decision. Oh my god. Cookies and cream. Hagen Dawes. It's fine. It's just cookies and cream ice cream. It... I'll eat it. Oh my god. Okay, so this is a Mari Calendar's chocolate satin pie. Here we go. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know like what this stuff is. It looks like poop. The winner of the first round is the cookies and cream ice cream. <laughs> my name's Hudson. My YouTube channel name is Huddy, but instead of a U, it's an X. And my favorite dessert, when the machine is working, or yummy flurries. Hey, uh, I'm the Boy King. My favorite dessert would just be like, there, please. The fluffy frosting cake, okay? You get it. For matchup number two, we have half of it already from Publix, but we have to get the other half from McDonald's. Matchup number two. Oh, oh my god! So this one is a little bit of a DIY project. It's a fluffy frosting cake, and I don't really know what that means, so we just got a cake and frosting. <laughs> Guys, I watch enough like cooking shows that I should be able to do this. Okay, here we go. It's actually kind of a banger. It goes well together. I don't know if I would eat this. Oh my God. Oreo McFlurry. Okay, here we go. There's a lot of Oreo in here, jeez. It's good. Fluffy cake or Oreo McFlurry from McDonald's. The winner of round number two is the Oreo McFlurry. Yes, it's gonna be the Oreo McFlurry. This one, pretty good. Um, It could be user error. It's probably my fault why it doesn't taste good. And I also don't think it's like the one that they probably like intended, but it's fluffy and it's cake and it was not bad, but like you can't beat an Oreo McFlurry. Let's get the frick out of here. Holy moly, guacamole in my pockets. What a blessing. Got it on me. I got options. Real stepper. Check the shoes. Get it popped. Eating good. So our next matchup is going to be in the car because if we drive home, then the churro is going to get stale. And the yogurt's going to melt for sure. Like, look at it. This is Menchie's versus the churro. And who are the people? I forgot. Don't point. Okay. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You're right. Damn, okay. I almost, I almost screwed it up. The matchup is Brinley versus India Slade. My name is Brinley Keller. I'm from Las Vegas, and my YouTube channel name is Brin. My favorite dessert has definitely got to be the Disneyland churros, specifically the Disneyland churros. I don't know what kind of witchcraft or pixie dust they use to make them, but they are 11 out of 10. Hi, my name is India. I'm from Los Angeles. My channel name is India Slays. And my favorite dessert would probably be frozen yogurt, probably from Menchie's. Um, it's just so good, and I love the toppings. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, here we go. This is Menchie's. I've had it, like, once before, and I don't really remember it. So, three, two, one. Frozen yogurt's not my favorite. This one's not bad. I don't hate it. We'll just see how it goes against the churro. Okay, churro time. I'm actually, like, really excited for this one, so hopefully it doesn't disappoint. Because we went literally all the way to Disney for this, so. This one's really good. 
Wow. The men cheese was pretty good, but my favorite is definitely the churro. My name is Brayden, I'm from the YouTube channel Wacky Bray, and I'm from South Florida, and my favorite dessert is cannolis. Hi, my name is Joel, I'm from Jillian Z, and my favorite dessert of all time is the cookies and cream milkshake from Chick-fil-A. Next up is the Chick-fil-A cookies and cream milkshake versus cannoli. I've never actually had it before, so this is going to be interesting. Get a little piece. Is this cheese? It's not cheese. It's just like not my favorite tasting thing. Sorry. So next up is the Chick-fil-A cookies and cream milkshake. My favorite part is the cherry, so I'm going to eat that first. It just tastes like a McDonald's McFlurry. Here's my take. They're both okay. I'm not a huge fan of either of them, but if I had to choose, I think the better option is the cannoli. I'm gonna have to take the cannoli as the winner. I'm Javen, uh, also known as Javen's Lady, and my favorite dessert is New York style cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Kara, I'm from Alabama. My YouTube channel is called It's Kara, and my favorite dessert is banana pudding. So the next matchup is the banana pudding versus Cheesecake Factory. I don't think I've actually ever had banana pudding, so I'm gonna try this one first. And this is a little bit unfair because I really like cheesecakes, so. Oh my gosh, that was so satisfying. I'm gonna be honest, guys, this looks like throw up. Here we go. It looks worse than it tastes. Not my favorite. Next one, the Cheesecake Factory. Here we go. I'm excited because I've never been to the Cheesecake Factory. This is a really awkward lid. Who made this? Ooh, I got a lot of whipped cream in there. Here we go. That's pretty good. So the winner of this round is the Cheesecake Factory. I prefer it more. It just depends like if you like cheesecake or if you like other desserts like banana pudding and stuff. My name's Mason. My channel's name is Masino. I'm from Michigan. And my favorite dessert is chocolate chip cookies, but fresh out of the oven, nice and gooey. Hi, my name is Kenzie Yolis. I'm from Houston, Texas, and my favorite dessert is the Oreo cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. It's number one. Give me it. So for this next dessert, we're gonna be baking cookies, and of course, we have to go with Toll House. So this is our sheet. Is that it? We finished the cookies, so now it's time to bake them. Open it up. We've used the oven like three times, so this is gonna be an adventure. Good job. Next up, we have the cookies. Ooh, these look really good. Versus another Cheesecake Factory, which is Oreo. Cheesecake. Factory. I'm gonna try the cookies first because they're nice and fresh and hot. I made them. Oh wow, and I didn't burn them. Those are legit. Now we have the Oreo cheesecake. This is gonna be a hard matchup, I'm telling you. Mm, it's just so hard. Okay, so everyone knows that I'm a pretty big fan of cheesecake. But I'm going to be honest, these cookies exceeded my expectations. So, for that reason, I'm going to go with the Toll House cookies for this one. Because I think the Toll House cookies could, like, literally win. So, it turns out two contestants chose crumble cookies. So, we're going to unite those contestants into one seed. But for now, let's get some crumble cookies. Hi, my name is Hidasa, and my YouTube channel is Hidasa. Um, I am from the United States, and my favorite dessert is probably crumble cookie. Hi, I'm Reese from East Layton, and my favorite dessert is the chocolate chip cookie from Crumble Cookies. I'm Elle. And I'm Olivia. We're from the Garner Girls YouTube channel. And our favorite dessert are rainbow sweet tart ropes. So for this next one, this is the one where we combine people to make a team. So this is the crumble team with crumble cookie against... Sweet tart ropes. This seems like a no-brainer, but don't judge a book by its cover. Who knows? The first one is chocolate-covered pretzel pie. Then we have lemon cupcake, peanut butter and jelly, and a chocolate chunk. First, I'm just gonna try the chocolate. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. This lemon one's kind of speaking to me, if I'm being for real. Lemon. 
You know what is so crazy to me? This cookie tastes just like the Girl Scout lemon cookie. And the Girl Scout lemon cookie was my favorite. So I really like this cookie. This is a really good cookie. I've seen sweet tart ropes and I feel like I've been giving them for like Halloween and like prizes at school and I never eat them. So this is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna open this one up. Okay. It's honestly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It tastes like a Sour Patch Kid without the sugar stuff on it. I do think this one has a good shot at the loser's bracket, but the winner has to be crumbled for this one. Honestly, it just has to be. I think it's a better like dessert. This is more of a snack. Hey guys, I know that we're in the middle of a video, but I need a favor. Give me a comment with your favorite dessert. Go do it. Three, two, one, talk to me. Okay. Hi, can I have a Heath Blizzard, please? To me. Hey guys, it's Kay from the YouTube channel Kay Elizabeth, and my favorite dessert is a Heath Blizzard from Dairy Queen. Hi, I'm Olivia Loren. I'm the owner of the channel Olivia Loren the Finger Princess. I'm from California, and my favorite dessert is cupcakes. Next up, we have the Dairy Queen Heath Blizzard. And the Naked Cupcake, take five. Here we go. It's pretty good, I like it. It just comes down to how I like this cupcake. <laughs> the doctor are really good, it's so annoying. The pretzel though, it's really good. Heath Blizzard or Naked Cupcake, they're both pretty good, but as funny as it is, I think I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go with the naked cupcake on this one. I think this one's the best. I honestly do. I think this one's gonna get the furthest. So here's how the loser's bracket is gonna work. I'm gonna go and eliminate the ones that I like the least, and then it'll be revealed who it was. So the first one I'm gonna eliminate is the banana pudding. Who was it? It's Kara is gonna be very disappointed oh. that you like the banana pudding the least. I'm sorry. I'm gonna eliminate the fluffy cake next because I'm just not a huge fan of cake, so who was it? The Boy King. The next one that I'm gonna eliminate is the sweet tart rope. It's really not that bad. It's just not really like a dessert. It's more just like a candy and a snack. That was the Garner Girls. Uh, oh. Sorry, Garner Girls. Sorry. The next one that I'm gonna eliminate is the chocolate satin pie. Aubrey. Oh, it was Aubrey's. Oh, I'm sorry, Aubrey. Three left. Ooh, I don't know who I'm gonna pick. Okay, the Chick-fil-A cookies and cream milkshake. I'm sorry, it's just, I don't think it's the best dessert in the world. That's, that's it. Jillian Z. Oh, dang it. So now there's only two left, which means the winner of this gets put in back into the game. So the person that's going to be eliminated is the Heath Blizzard from Dairy Queen. K. Elizabeth. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. Sorry. Now we are starting round two, which is all of the winners from the previous round and the winner of the loser's bracket. So our first matchup is the cannoli versus the haagen cookies and cream ice cream. So I'm just gonna pick the one that I like the best and then if I'm not really sure, I'll sample it again. I think I'm gonna retry the cannoli. I know how this tastes, so. My choice for this one, I have to go with the Hogan Dolls ice cream on this. I prefer ice cream than a milkshake, and this is an ice cream. I can't see it making it any further. I, it's just not my favorite. That, the cannoli is Wacky Bray. Oh, okay. Wacky Bray is eliminated. Sorry. Our next matchup is the Oreo McFlurry versus the first cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Oreo McFlurry. Pretty standard than Cheesecake Factory, which I think is like a lot more of like an elaborate idea. I just don't see the Oreo McFlurry becoming the best dessert in the world. I have to go with the Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. Okay, who was it? It was Hattie. Mmm. Hattie's out. Bye. Thanks for playing. So our next matchup is the Crumble Cookie versus the Toll House Cookie, the Battle of the Cookies. I like these, they're classic, they're great, but Crumble is just on a different level, so for that reason, I have to go with Crumble. Who is the Toll House Cookies? Because I actually had a pretty good run. Messino. Sorry, thanks for playing though. 
For the next matchup, we have the Disney World Churro versus the Naked Cupcake. This is a really, really good matchup. And I think for this one, I don't have to try the cupcake again, I remember, because it wasn't that long ago. But this was yesterday, so I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna see how it tastes. Whoever doesn't win, like, still has a really good dessert, so, like, it's okay. This is so difficult. So this was a really hard decision for me. I think I'm gonna go with the Disney World Churro. I don't know, it just, there's something about it that just tastes so good and I just have to go with this one. This one was not fun to eat or open. It tasted fine, it's just a cupcake with pretzel on it. So who was the cupcake? The cupcake was Olivia Loren, the makeup princess. Goodbye. It is now the final four. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna be doing Crumble versus Hagen dazs So for this one, I think I have to go with Crumble Cookie. I like Hagen dazs ice cream, but Crumble is just on a different level. So Crumble has to win this one. And the Hagen dazs was just Jewel C. Oh, she picked Hagen dazs oh, I feel bad since she lost, but. Next round is the Churro versus the Cheesecake. Okay, this one is really hard something about this cheesecake i don't know what it is it just tastes so good and i just love it i like how the churro tastes i really do and it's from disney world super authentic but cheesecake's always been one of my favorite desserts so for that reason i have to send it to the next round all right the churro was brimley oh she had the churro it was such a good one too it's a good one it's a good That's choice it's a really good choice we went to disney for it so now we have the finale but we have a little bit of a twist. So the, this is where we're going to introduce the winner of the loser's bracket, which was the Oreo cheesecake. Now, we are going to combine these two to make a team and crumble cookie, which earlier we also combined, which is also going to make a team. So two people will win this challenge. It's two versus two. Let's see which one's better. I'm just gonna retaste this. It's important. Yeah, I haven't tried the peanut butter jelly and I haven't tried this one, so I'm gonna do that because I think that's fair. Mm hmm This is a really good cookie. Really, really good. This is excellent. So chocolatey. Amazing. Mm. This is gonna be a hard choice. Okay, that was amazing. Now the cheesecakes. This one's really good. This is so hard. One cheesecake down. Oreo is the last thing. Then we decide who wins the golden spatula. Mm. You've eaten so many desserts. Like, how are you not like freaking out <laughs> from like sugar? This is interesting because Crumble has like a different variety of cookies and so does the cheesecake because there's two. So it kind of is like a team effort of what makes the best dessert. The winner of the Sweet 16 Challenge is... Crumble Cookie! Yeah, crumble cookie. I had to go with Crumble Cookie. This was such a good dessert, but Crumble Cookie is the better dessert. So Crumble Cookie wins the Sweet 16. Um, this was the lineup. This is the cookies that we got. We got the milk chocolate chip, peanut butter, lemon cupcake, and the brownie thing. I'm not reciting that whole name right now. The cheesecakes were Kenzie Yoles and JV2 Wavy were the cheesecakes. Oh, um, That's a good team. That's a good team. That's a very good team. So it was a crumble cookie. Crumble cookie was... Reese Layton. Mm-hmm. And... Hadassah. Okay, I'm happy they won. I think they deserve that win. Yeah. Yes. I think this was a crumble cookie was a smart choice. It's funny because they both picked crumble cookie and they came together and won, which is pretty funny. Congratulations to the winners, Reese Layden and Hadassah. Thank you everyone so much for watching and thank you to everyone who participated. This was such a fun video to make going to all these different places and getting these amazing desserts. So just thank you guys so, so much. If you guys like this video, Check out my other videos here. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you later.